do you want to improve this winter? Got a net at home but don't have a launch monitor? Don't worry, I'm here to help you out. I've got a few tips. If you're new here, I'm Andy Little. I'm a PJ Golf professional for over 23 years, a UK top 50 coach, and currently number one on the Skillis app doing online coaching. Now we can still improve our golf even without a launch monitor and getting data, but using a few little props, we can get a better understanding of our golf swing, give us some ideas of what we need to practice and what we need to improve within our swing. So if you're at home and you've got a practice net or practice facility, some dry shampoo is a great one. I'll show you how. Simple head cover is gonna work. Bit of tape, few clubs, golf balls. You can practice this winter, no problem. So let's go through them. Dry shampoo. Yes, I know you can get foot spray. Yes, I know you can get the golf strike, which is exactly the same as dry shampoo, but just sort of a powdered spray can give you an awareness of your strike location. So if you are practicing, and you're not too sure how you are delivering that club into the golf ball, how you're striking it, this is the best way. A little bit of spray, which gives you that sort of white glow over the club face. And then if I strike a golf ball, I'm then gonna get an awareness of where I'm actually hitting it. And we can see, not bad, a little bit just off center, but if you're obviously hitting it too far out the toe or too far out the heel, then you have an awareness and then hopefully you can do some work to improve that strike. Now, this may sound obvious, but I'm also amazed how little I see this when I go to a drive range and hit golf balls. Just using two clubs or two alignment sticks to help you with two basic fundamentals of the golf swing your body alignment and your ball position. So when you are practicing, even if you are just hitting it into a net that's a few feet in front of you, creating this T where I can get a reference of where my body should be lined up so I can get my feet an equal distance away from that line as a reference to my ball to target line. And then the club going through my legs or the alignment stick kind of help me with my ball position. And then depending on what club I'm using, I can then make sure that I've got the right place. So that when I'm striking the golf ball, at least these two fundamentals are always gonna be correct. Now, another good one is a bit of tape. It really is gonna help you to get an awareness of where you are striking or where you're trying to strike the ball and the ground. So just rip off a bit of tape, put that in front of the golf ball. Now, when you are practicing in this sort of doing this sort of drill practice aid, I want you to have the mindset that you are trying to hit the tape and not really hitting the golf ball. Yes, you're obviously gonna hit the golf ball on the way through, but your main focus is to hit the tape away. That's gonna encourage you to be shifting forward into your swing and get that low point after the golf ball for that pure ball ground contact. And the last one I want to show you is the head cover. This can be placed in two places to really help your angle of attack, which with an iron and a driver is different. I want to be hitting the ball on the downswing or a downward blow, a negative angle of attack with an iron, and I want to do the opposite when it comes to a driver. But let me show you how to do it. So depending on the size of the head cover, you might need to place it a good grip and a bit behind the golf ball when you are using an iron. That will just give me a bit of a reference that if I am swinging down and casting or losing the angles that I create in the downswing, therefore I'm gonna strike the head cover. And if I'm hanging back on my trail side, again, I'm just gonna get that visual where I'm striking the head cover instead of the ball. If I can maintain my angles, rotate through the golf ball correctly, shift pressure onto my lead side, if the head cover is in the right place, hopefully, I can miss it. Now, when it comes to the driver, it's the complete opposite. So we wanna be hitting the ball on the upswing to generate those big bombs that we want when we get on the next course, the next time on the course. So, about a grip and a half in front. Now, if I'm too steep on the golf ball, 
there is a very much a high chance that either the ball or the club head will strike the head cover in front. If I can feel like I'm staying behind the goal ball as I strike, and swinging on the upward hit, then I can hit the goal ball, miss the head cover, and hit those high bombs. Now, hope that video has helped. If you're still watching, really appreciate it. Maybe give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed already, it would be amazing. Helps me to help you because I can produce content that's gonna help your game, not only the winter, but all year round. Thanks very much.